I went to the Harbor Freight store and while I was looking around I noticed this uh, Centec P98674 notice here it says that it's a cat 3 600 volt and it's uh, fused at 10 amps this is normally uh, from Harbor Freight a fairly expensive meter at a 20% off coupon bringing it below $50 uh, meeting my criteria. So currently I have this B&K which was uh, CAT2 rated uh, was damaged at 2 kV uh, surge pulse into it and took it out. We also have this uh, little meter here which I've tested and you can see uh, still uh, pretty much works. This meter has had uh, up to 3000 volts now applied to it and uh, what ends up happening is the switch contacts break down so it's still functional in all the modes currently this is the best meter that I've had as far as meeting the surge test I did uh, change this back to uh, just give me a 2000 volt head again and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, my old fluke meter and that B and K meter I know couldn't uh, survive that so <clears throat> try to get an idea exactly where this thing gives up at so we're going to start it out with a 2 kV I've already uh, tested this thing functionally like I said it's actually a pretty nice meter um, but whatever I want to run this test and just know uh, where these things actually fail at so let's go ahead and get started okay so I've got the oscilloscope turned on one of the nice things with this meter I like how it uh, lights up which uh, connectors you're supposed to be using here it's actually pretty fancy. Alright, so it's plugged into the surge generator. This meter has auto ranging. We'll just see how it does here on the volt. It's a 20 microsecond decay, 2000 volts. Again, this is what took out the B and K. And uh, again, our little cheap meter here survived this test in all modes. We'll see how this one does. with a negative polarity Try it in the uh, microamp range here. Looks like the meter is going through a reset. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So I think this meter here no longer works. You can see here, even in uh, DC mode, 
Nothing. Yeah, you see the meter was reading uh, spot on here. You can see it reads now uh, 8.4. That would have been dead on uh, 50 ohms. That should be reading 100 ohms. Again, not even close. So 10k. Here's one meg. Yeah. Yep. So this meter has been damaged. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I guess it was safe, but uh, I'm looking for something that actually can uh, at least survive as good as this thing. You know, <laughs> again, this is the uh, unbranded uh, meter here. Uh, it comes out on top. I don't know. <laughs> One of the problems when that Syntac failed, it actually failed where the DC volts were at zero. Obviously, that'd be a real bad thing. You know, you'd think that the uh, power was off on something and. Uh, and get your ass handed to you. Not a good thing at all. There's a 1k ohm resistor. You can see this meter is just all over the place. <laughs> but again, it does still seem to uh, to work. We'll just uh, plug it back into our transient generator here. Yeah, I don't know why this meter is so good. It's <laughs> probably the cheapest meter I have. But uh, seems quite well designed for what it was. Again, it uh, it's pretty old. It doesn't have any ratings on it, but uh, just keeps it working. Is there a new Cat 3 meter that can actually uh, dethrone this thing? Huh, starting to wonder. Maybe not. I posted about making a high voltage attenuator as well for these meters. Again, the idea would be that uh, you could take a meter like this and actually apply this to a Cat 3 600 volt test and it would survive. I'll have a couple of gas discharge tubes in this thing and I'll demonstrate that in uh, hopefully some up and coming videos. So I've got parts on order for it right now. I own some Probe Master probes that I use with the multimeters. I don't typically use the probes that actually come with them. Uh, these are a Cat 3 rated uh, set of probes. Fairly nice. You can see here the ends will pop off. You can actually then slide in a hook type probe. Fairly nice setup. You got some clips here that you can use. It's not a bad set of probes. It's nice having the banana jack on the end. Fairly sharp. You can see the insulation around the tip. It's a nice set of probes, really. Again, this is Cat 3. My plan will be to uh, use these with the attenuator that I'm building. <laughs> 